It's a long way from the Scottish Highlands, but this factory in central New South Wales is a big player in the Scotch whisky market. The De Quino Group started making wine in 1946 and sells its products all around Australia. They're well known for Scotch under brands such as the Black Scot, labelled as a premium imported whisky. According to Australian law, Scotch whisky must be made in Scotland. Tests performed in the UK red flagged samples of De Quino's Black Scott brand. The bottles lack the chemical compounds of a whisky made in Scotland, and the brand itself is not registered with UK customs. In short, if the whisky isn't Scottish, the law says it's a fake. All these samples had. Lindsay Lowe from the Scotch Whisky Association says that fake Scotch is a growing problem around the world. Aging in wood is very important. All scotch has to be aged for a minimum of three years in oak barrels in Scotland, but many brands are aged for much longer. Yeah, maybe. At De Quino's cellar door, an employee says the company's so-called scotch products are made in Australia. So what about those things like scotch and tequila that the company puts out? Yeah. Are they actually imported? No, they make them here in orange. So the scotch isn't from Scotland? <coughs> no. De Quino sells its liquor to a network of bottle shops across the East Coast. Scotch isn't their only in-house brand. It also trucks gin, bourbon, vodka and tequila. Tequilas and things like that, are they made out the back here? Are they from Mexico? Nah, they're all made sort of mixed locally. So I want to show you some of these fake tequilas. That... Like Scottish authorities, Mexico guards its tequila fiercely. De Quino's claims its Blue Cactus brand is sourced from a Mexican distillery. But its barcode is registered to a Canadian swimwear company. Mexican authorities say they've never heard of it. People that are producing tequila in other countries are falsifying uh, tequila. De Quino's declined to identify its overseas suppliers. As you know, tequila is a product of agave. You have to wait eight years. If you're buying a tequila that uh, doesn't follow that procedure, well, you're just buying something that is totally false. Further investigations are needed and may take time. Taxes on a bottle of whiskey like this are about $26, but we've picked up bottles of De Quino's so-called scotch for as little as $27. But what the importers of legitimate products want to know is how it's possible for companies like this to make any money with one dollar margins. De Quino's pled guilty to fake scotch production in 2007 following a lengthy case. While these were cases of mislabeling, in other cases the products have been harmful. Documents obtained by the ABC reveal cases where other companies have mixed raw ethanol and flavorings to produce counterfeit vodka, whiskey and gin. In another file, Two Sydney women were hospitalised after drinking suspect vodka. The health fears a burning question on the lips of drinkers everywhere. That's nail polish, that. Riley Stewart, ABC News, Orange.